Enjoy the film. You want butter on your popcorn? The theater will be ready in a second. So Steve made me clean every single theater today. And he got really mad at me because I like I cleaned them obviously because mm-hmm. uh-huh. you know, my job was at stake. So I decided, okay, I'll, I'll do it. And so um, I cleaned every single theater. And he was like, "Do you call this clean?" And he he brought me into one of the theaters and he oh showed me like God. the underside of one of the seats, oh, yeah. just covered in gum. And I don't There's... like I didn't know I was supposed to clean the undersides of the seats. I think that seems sort of like I don't know. So how long did that take to clean all the theaters? All all day. All day. All day. Your whole shift? My whole shift. And he wants me to do it again tomorrow. That seems unnecessary if they're already clean. I know. God, well, Steve. I mean, it does depend on how many people come in, but I'm not really worried about that. Not a lot of people come in. Yeah, for being the only theater in town. This is not a movie watching town. Right. Yeah. Like, what do these people do? They really do sports. We the No farmers. No. No farmers? Yeah, no farmers. No sports and then... You go to no farmers? Yeah. No zoologists either. <laughs> it's odd, man. How are you choosing these categories of people to point out that aren't in our town? I'm going I'm going categorically. I'm going like like logically from one to the next. Have you ever okay. noticed there are no optometrists in, in this? In the Thank entire, you. That was where I was going. Town. I was going to say sports. Okay. Farmers. Uh-huh. Podiatrists. Optometrists librarians very few librarians here i mean we have we like do, what we have a library two is that not enough for one the one library it's just interesting that there, that people don't take interests librarians garbage men garbage men thank you and and, and the list goes from there <laughs> In the usual In order. the usual fashion, yes. Like, there are so many people in this town. We have, like, what, 500 people? That's a very small town. Do you think that's, a, like, a substantial town? Well, yeah, don't you think? Like, how, how many people does it take to make a town? We have a, we have a movie theater. We have a town, we have a movie it's, but theater. it's not we a have big a library. town. You said that like, like we have a good-sized town. We have a very small town with one cineplex. Yeah. Well, what's a big town? Like... Tens of thousands. Jesus Christ, what town has that? There are towns with millions. That sounds... Fuck, what? Are so you a mathematician? you supposed to know everybody in your town? Are you supposed to know a million people? That not every... Ridiculous. No, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Not every town is like our town. Not every town knows everyone in town. We we what? know most everyone we run into because our town is a small town. Yeah. That's the definition of a town. Yeah, exactly. Is you know everyone... Yeah. Yes, I really don't think you. That's correct. A town. All right, well, I, th- I think he would know his limits. dad. Yeah, right. His dad is the dictionary writer. You that's know. another thing I wanted to bring up. Why do we have? A, we don't have any optometrists. We have mm-hmm. a designated dictionary writer. Like, what is that job? <laughs> what do you mean? It's in the are name. You, are you insulting my dad's profession? I'm just saying, like, we can get. That's who's gonna make up, guy? dictionaries? In what our do town? they just appear? What the fuck are you talking about, man? Other places, dictionaries aren't handwritten like they are in our town. Well, they have to be here. Why? I don't think I'm going to try to explain all the things that I would need to explain to get you to understand what I'm trying to say, which is book binding and printing. Yeah, we have a book binder, obviously. Yeah. Right. We have a dictionary writer and a book binder in town, but no optometrists, no podiatrists. Only two librarians, which is for some reason not enough librarians for our one small library, which is mostly dictionaries written by your father. God, this town's weird. Let's, um, uh, I guess let's introduce ourselves. Welcome to the show. Uh, my name is Kyle McClinsky. My name is Greg Basil. I'm uh, Henry Harrison. And uh, welcome to uh, the break room at the Cineplex. We're going to talk about a movie, as per usual. Yeah. Who wants to who wants to introduce the movie we watched this week? Okay, I'll I'll go ahead and introduce the movie since you both got weirdly silent. <laughs> Obviously, we we all know the name of the movie since we all watched it together. Well, yeah, but it's very easily forget. Right. I, I mean, it's it's easy. It's forgetful. It's easy to forgetful. It's not easily forgetful. I forgot it. Are you thinking of the word forgettable? You said it's forgetful. That means the movie itself forgets things. Oh, sorry. That's how it was defined in the dictionary that I got. I need to get the newest version. <laughs> That's right. You need the updated. You need version. the updated one, because he updates it like every, like what, two weeks? 
Yeah, I mean he's he's putting out editions like every day, yeah, but he only releases a lot them of to the public mm-hmm. you know, after a while. <laughs> let's uh, let's try to push forward and get to the movie. Uh, the movie we watched this week was called Mr. Banjo. Mr. Banjo. I That's think very easily forgettable. Right. It's really not. It's a very straightforward title. Pretty unique. <laughs> All right, tell me what it is. All right, Mr. Banjo. Oh shit. Oh, you meant the title oh, again. Oh, you remembered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I thought you were saying, tell me more about the film. You just wanted me you to, say, to the say the name, the name again, again to see if I remembered it from right. when I said I just, it four seconds. I have forgotten yeah. it. Yeah, man. What's the name of the film? Uh, Mr. Banjo. Maybe. So ah, yeah, there yeah. it is. There it is. All right. mm-hmm. uh, so Mr. Banjo is, it was, it's actually a locally made film. Speaking of our small town, yeah, mm-hmm. Mr. Banjo was made right here in Timberdale mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, about 30 years back. So that was what, the, the late 80s? 1989, 1982, three. Whoa, shit, seven? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm not a mathematician because there are none. <laughs> Another thing missing from our town, oh unfortunately. God. No mathematicians. We're establishing a lot. <laughs> this town <laughs> uh mr banjo this one i have a uh personal connection to because i don't know if i told you guys uh while we were watching it but my mother has a cameo in this one no way yes i, I mean it's that, very honestly. brief and if you blink you'll miss it it's in the first it's within the first second of the film oh man oh wow yeah she was the the logo no, once the once the movie started, she oh. she wasn't oh. a graphic on the screen. Oh. She was a person. I don't think I she... watched the first second. <laughs> it's a very unimportant <laughs> role. I really don't need to be spending this much time on it. She walks through the frame at the beginning of the film. She didn't uh, even know she was on camera, okay. she but she she's there. Camera. You can see her. But she knows. Yeah, no? she knows. She saw the film. Everyone saw the film in town, yeah, of course, because she, it told, was... she told you about it. Yeah, yeah, it was a big <clears throat> deal that this was made in town. Yeah. Because this was the one and only time that we've had a celebrity, Tom Cruise, come to Timberdale. Yeah, Tom Cruise. What a beautiful man. Yeah. yeah. My goodness. Um, no other celebrities have come to Timberdale because Tom Cruise really talked us down. Which, in my in... opinion, is ridiculous. How could you talk down about a town so beautiful? It is a nice looking town. But... And, and it looks even better in the movie. Yeah, they really uh, spruced things up. They yeah, actually man. repaired several buildings mm-hmm. just for the and film. And they got rid of that pile? Yes, the yeah. pile. The infamous pile. Um, I kind of wish they left the pile. That was something Me I too. always wish yeah, I could have seen. Because yeah. was... that's, that's, a, that's a town staple. That's a Timberdale staple. The Timberdale pile. They, mm-hmm. uh, the yeah. Timberdale pile. They, but they cleared that out for the film. Uh, so, Mr. Banjo. Greg, do you want to go in? Do you want to get started on this one? Yeah, Mr. Banjo is the story about a school teacher mm-hmm. who is uh, who is brought in to to you know fix up the school mm-hmm. because he was it, the, it, in the, in the beginning of the film it is hinted to that something happened in New York like he's getting punished for some reason right. I don't know like like they brought him in and and he's and he's like he's like I have to work where yeah so he's been. He's been like expelled, not not that's not like a teacher joke. He was, I was gonna laugh at that. Yeah, he was like, nice, excommunicated nice, from New York, and right. he was sent to this little podunk town called Timberdale. And when he arrives, he's kind of awestruck at where, like, the condition the town is in, really, and like, you know, how how he's how is he gonna turn around, you know, all the students in the school as well as yeah, like yeah. kind of the town itself, because I mean, he. He kind of assumes responsibility in that role too. Of like, yeah, yeah. You know, the government officials are are completely useless. Um, they're kind of just establishing this cult that kind of takes over the gov- like the gov- like governmental buildings and you mm-hmm. know the operating's like that. So like libraries, I mean anything government related mm-hmm. is they're all you know acolytes and yeah, all, you know, kind right. Of... They weren't very kind to Timberdale. Right. Everyone's either an idiot or a member of this religious cult, right. which or both. is ridiculous. Right, we haven't had that cult since like ninety six. Yeah, like, ninety six. I mean, it was there at the time. Yeah, yeah it was. It like, was the height. It was the height of their. We um, shouldn't be known for that anymore. It's a town. Uh, um, it's a town favorite because it's our town. Yeah, we have annual viewings of this, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and we and we we uh, we scream at the at the cult when the cult's on the camera. We're like, boo. Yeah, because we really want to distance ourselves from that from the town cult. Yeah, so so he he comes into the town and he's and he's. 
and he's look, looking around and he's 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 seeing all the all the cult stuff and 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 how this town is really is really kind of what, what, what was the phrase you would podunk yeah podunk and he's like and he's like golly how am i gonna make it here mm-hmm. he, he has a lot of exposition to himself in this in this movie mm-hmm. like, yeah he's, he's like, he's like golly it's amazing lying. how he like, mutters to himself right it's really it's a crazy lot. how i was one of the highest paid teachers at this certain college at uh, in new york city and now i'm here my cat is having to be taken care of by my sister, whose name and he continues. Right, they do. Right. They set up a lot of backstory, um, and not not the most interesting way. Which yeah, is right. just no, Tom Cruise. It's very quick though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah it is yeah, efficient, I mean, is, and there's he, a lot of backstory to get you to. You know yeah. everything about him and his family, and kind of how he got to this position, mm-hmm, and like, mm-hmm. and how his dog died when he was seven. Yeah, well, he comes into the town. He sees kind of the state everything's in, mm-hmm. and he's like, not only am I going to educate these stupid small town people, which, I mean, it's really Come kind of hard to here. hear. Yeah, harsh. Um, he's like, not only am I going to educate these people, I'm going to take down this cult from the inside. Mm-hmm. So one of my favorite moments was when he uh, is introduced um, to the class that he's going to be teaching, mm-hmm. which, you know, is the only classroom in the only school. Yeah, in all here. grades... I'll together. just kind of get together. Yeah, yeah. It's right. Kindergarten just a through big conglomeration. Mm-hmm. High it's very, it's very community based, and and so he's there, and he's and he's acting very pompous and stern. Yeah, he's got he's, this. And, and wearing vibe. a tweed jacket. It was very yeah, like leather uh, shoulders. Yeah, it was I a mean, very strange vibe. Elbows. And he's like first getting to know these children. Like the very first time he's meeting them, mm-hmm. he's he's acting you know very pompous, and so. I think um, later on when, like, one of the kids finds him hiding in a closet, uh, I think it really kind of reflects back upon, like, okay, maybe he's not all that he thinks that that he is, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He's not that different. And um, the second time that he's found in the closet, I think, (laughs) oh, you know, maybe they're realizing, like, okay, maybe he's scared often. And then... (laughs) And then the third time, he comes to realize that himself. That he is scared often. Mm-hmm. Right, even though he's this big city teacher, he's not so different. Yeah. He's, he's like a cult member almost. Just like the rest of us. <laughs> rest of them. Yes, not us now. Not us. Cult no. is not here anymore. The cult's not here. Feel free to come to Timberdale. No cults. Yeah. It's safe. It's completely it's safe. safe. Come see us. <laughs> No, and that's why that, that, really that, 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 that's why it's our town model. Come see us. Did you say m- say model? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Motto. <laughs> Tell your dad to update that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 He's got to update that dictionary. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the definition of model and motto were switched in the latest <laughs> version, so haven't flipped those back. It was probably just an overbite. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Tom Cruise. Um, A.K.A. Mr. Banjo. We should mention he is right. Mr. Banjo. Yes, he's Mr. Banjo. <clears throat> you see it on his his name tag the one time, right? Yeah, um, it says it's during a... the parent teacher conference, and then it's on his uh, little tag on his desk too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, John yeah. Banjo. John Banjo. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he 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 he, say, he tells people, "Call me John." He's like, "Hey, I'm John Banjo. Call me John." Yeah, which is weird. <laughs> that... <laughs> Almost like like really imploring them, don't. Call me Banjo. Don't call me He's Mr. Banjo. He's terrified of being called Mr. Banjo. He yeah, only he, wants yeah, it's to more be than just John. a dislike. It's it's, it's a is, fear. It's, it's a, a visceral a... fear, and yeah, he yeah, 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 rots yeah. him down to the core. And mm-hmm. I think, you know, it really kind of not only reflects, you know, the fear of, you know, himself, Tom Cruise, but also the fear of I think our town. Yeah, well, the think, fear of what our town could be. Right. Huh? Or at the time, maybe what it was. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, he a goes through, powerhouse. there is a real arc to his story in this. Because of how much he fears slash distrusts the people of the town and mm. the town itself. I mean, because right. there's that whole sequence where he tries to just burn the entire town right. mm-hmm. to the ground. Right. Um, and but he it fails. Just, it burns in a pentagram shape. And, you know, yeah. the acolytes right. Which is, in which on is supposed chanting. to happen. Right. That's the Mr. way the town yeah. was designed. Banjo, That's Mr. Just Mr. Banjo, Mr. Banjo. And he's Mr. screaming, Banjo. don't, my name is John. Call me John, please. Yep. Right. Please call me John. He's very polite about it. But they all end up <laughs> calling him Mr. Banjo. Yeah. But then, of course, by the end, it's a term of endearment. And yeah. we get the whole right. resolution where he's talking to that little girl and she says, 
all thanks to you, Mr. Banjo, and he's okay with it, you know? Right. He's like, that's and he, right. And he gets out of the closet. Yeah. And he says... That 20th time. Right. And he says, I am Mr. Banjo. I am Mr. Banjo. <laughs> that night is really the turning point because he goes from the point where he hates the town the most and tries mm-hmm. to set it on fire to the point where he knows everyone in town and he spent time in their closet and and, and he feels like maybe these are people that he could get along with mm-hmm. once he teaches them all to read. Yes. Which then becomes kind the, of the, the third the main, the main thing. Push, there, right. There's like that, that montage of him teaching them, uh, teaching them English, grammar, right. mathematics, yep. science. Uh-huh. This, 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 yeah, this movie just made me feel a lot of things. Because at the beginning, we're watching it, and they're like, what the, why, why are they making us look like such idiots? But then by the end, we're like, yeah, that's us. We can Highlight. read, you know. Yeah, like, right. Yeah. And like, I think, you know, I think what we've said so far is, <laughs> that's really established what this film is. <laughs> Let's actually say what this. Movie no, I think I think we've said enough. I think you can you can. <laughs> <laughs> you have a basic idea of what happened. You can connect he the sh- dots. He, it opens on a town with your mother, and then he comes in and he tells us his entire life story. <laughs> he doesn't want to be really just Mr. lazy writing. <laughs> then, he's, <laughs> then he's hiding in closets. <laughs> I think this might be our best retelling of a. Uh, of a movie so far. It's um, certainly one of them. I think we painted a really good picture. <laughs> if we're already my favorite part. Yeah, let's go into favorite part or character or line. Or yeah, whatever. yeah. My, my favorite part is going to be when he was uh, talking with the head of the cult. <laughs> and he's saying, what you guys believe is crazy. And, and, uh, and, the, cult mem- and the cult leader says back to him, to believe is crazy. And, and he I, says, yeah, that's well, my that's point. That's what I said. Yeah, like, that's my argument. The cult leader goes, oh, okay. And then... And then disbands the cult. Disbands the cult. Disbands the cult, right. which isn't what happened in real life. No, but I mean, it was a nice... in real life, it was much, much bloodier. Oh, but, yeah. Oh, but, boy. But this is a fictionalized history of our time. I mean, Tom Cruise didn't, you know, actually come Yeah, to he the, wasn't an actual teacher here. All of his here. scenes were green screened. Like, yeah. He didn't yeah. actually come He to never actually town. came to the town and yet had incredibly strong opinions about right. never re- returning, quote exactly. unquote. Yeah. It was almost it almost became part of the marketing for the film because it was like the tagline was it was Mr. Banjo and it said the town Tom Cruise will never return to. Right. Like it it mentioned the actor in the tagline rather than the character. Like all of the <laughs> all of the advertising was was very anti Timberdale. But it put us on the map. But it put, it put us, us on, on the map. map. People were at least aware. And people know the name Timberdale. Yeah, exactly. It. What was your favorite part? Kyle? Oh man, I think so many good ones. Yeah, I'm gonna actually go with a favorite line this time. Go for mm. it. Yeah. So it's a little bit foreshadowing because we talked about how at the very end, uh, the little girl calls him uh, Mr. Banjo, and he doesn't correct her. Right. He doesn't right. say, "Call me John." And but but earlier on in the film. Someone does call him John, and he goes, hey, call me Mr. Banjo. I mean, yes, correct. <laughs> and it was this moment I always wondered, was that a mistake? Or was that an intentional bit of foreshadowing? And um, I actually watched this with the DVD commentary, oh, which was you? by Tom Cruise. And man, most of it is just still really hurtful towards oh, the town. He has right. not given up I that bet. grudge. But he did confirm, yes, that was a mistake. But they kept it in because I thought, eh, <laughs> so that's your favorite line i think what i like about it is that it's a very genuine moment because he, you see tom cruise yeah you see him break character Literally, yes and that's you see the real tom cruise good stuff yeah let's give this a rating let's do the rating out of 10 for for mr banjo yeah i'll, I'll um i would have to say because i i would probably give it a like a 6.5 maybe mm-hmm. maybe a 7 I'm, i might go as high as a 7 i wouldn't go much higher than that though 8 out of 10 yeah okay yeah it's a this is a classic guys yeah but they sh- he shat on our town both literally and figuratively both literally and figuratively you guys didn't see the same movie i did you didn't see him take a eight shit on out screen of 10 all right i'm not even going to Try it. I'm gonna say five. I'm gonna give it a, a middle of the road because on one hand it showcased our town, it exactly. brought us to the world. On the other hand, it showcased our town in a really, a really, really negative mm, yeah. light. Was not kind, and Tom Cruise was just 
He was okay. He was okay. He was fine. He, was, he wasn't happy to be there, Mm-mm. even though he wasn't actually ever there. Right. Mm-hmm. The magic of green screen, which I will mention <laughs> that green screen in the, in the late 80s was, it's not what it is today. No. So, all right. That yeah. was uh, Mr. Banjo. Mr. Banjo. Mr. Mr. Banjo. Banjo. Mr. Banjo. Quite. Yeah. I hope you all learned something about our town. Yeah, please mm-hmm. go out, go out and see it. Go see about Timberdale. And We're not everything. as bad as you think we are. We're not as bad. I think that was yes. a runner-up for our model, mm-hmm. our town motto. Motto. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna get you that new dictionary. Thank yeah, you very much. I appreciate right that. Up. But yeah, come check out our uh, our theater. Yeah, then our come store, see our film. Our lack of optometrists. Yeah, man. Um, uh, no mathematicians. Yeah, no still farmers. no mathematicians. Definitely buy a dictionary. Please buy, yeah, a, dictionary. buy a dictionary. Stop by. Give, mm-hmm. you a, give you a... Well, I, I can't offer you a discount, but you you can... yeah. You can I'll, certainly I'll, get I'll one by full it, price. Yeah, yeah, full price. Uh, yeah, full price. Dictionary. And that's the Timberdale promise. Dictionary Wink. in every home. A dictionary in every home at full price. That Yep, that's... That, that, was, was, that was the third runner-up for our model. <laughs> at full price. <laughs> Welcome to Timberdale at full price. <laughs> Didn't make sense, so I think that's why that <laughs> one didn't, it. didn't win. Yeah. Um, oh, man. All right. Well, that's, I think that's, I was going to say all the time we have, but we really don't have a time limit on this. But yeah, I think really that's don't. all the time we're going to take up discussing. I got to go. Okay. Oh, I guess wow. time well, is up. Well, there it is. Yeah, so. time's up. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Yeah. Yep, I will see you later. Good night, folks. Good night and uh, goodbye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye.